Hey, what's up? Monday before the Tough Mudder. That's my run keeper app talking to me. So I'm out trail running, uh, getting ready. Tough Mudder Saturday morning. Josh is running with me. And we're, uh, our start time is 8.20. We were originally gonna drive out early on Saturday morning. And, uh, Jesus, that was a fucking dragonfly. Uh, but to get out there in time for the race, gotta get out there like an hour beforehand. <clears throat> We'd have to leave at like 3 o'clock or 3.30 in the morning. So, uh, my buddy Nolan Etheridge, uh, kind enough to offer to, uh, let us crash at his apartment on Friday night. So we're gonna drive out Friday night, stay at his place. Thank you, Nolan. And then he's gonna come out and watch. And, uh, he's a hell of a photographer, so he's gonna take some pictures, too. Uh, Josh is born with us, so it'll be me and Joy and uh, Josh heading out to Nolan's on Friday night. So this run we're doing now, this is a trail through the, it's called the Maritime Hammock Sanctuary in Melbourne Beach. <clears throat> so, am I ready for the tough motor? Nope. But, uh, fuck it. All right, have a good night, everybody. All right, part two. I had to take my shirt off. My nipples were starting to bleed almost. Fucking shirt was rubbing them. And I got some of that body glide stuff, but it didn't do any good. Still uh, rubbing my nipples down to nothing but raw, bloody areola goodness. I also had to take my glasses off, they're sweating too much. Anyway, I'm in the alligator zone. Check it out. This is where the gators can run out from either side and eat you. <laughs> All right. All right, update number three. I've left the gator zone. I'm in the uh, uh, bobcat uh, panther zone. Probably won't see either one. If either one, it'll be a bobcat. But panthers do look back. Uh, here's a good alligator area. I've seen a baby one in this, in this stretch before. Oh well, keep running. See, now the problem with this section of the trail is if you've got an overactive imagination like I do, then uh, you're constantly being chased by zombies, madmen, ex-wives, which I have none, but. Yeah, you know, they're in the same category, I would, I would imagine. Uh, but also, if you have an overactive imagination like I do, pardon me, running on bridges. Okay, one more. Yeah. Oh, sorry, one more. So if you have an overactive imagination like I do, and you aren't running through creepy woods like this, especially after just last night, you finished watching season two of Walking Dead, See the hair on my back of my neck just stood up right there. All right, I'll update when I make it back to the road. All right, just about made it back to the road and I found a friend. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's all right, dude. How's it going? This is a gopher turtle. What's going on, man? You can keep walking, I'm not gonna bother you. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. There you go. You can walk. <laughs> all right. Pull him out. Have a good night, dude. Yeah. All right. So, about made it back to the road. No zombies. No panthers. No bobcats. No alligators. And the road's coming up right here.
Alright, here we go. Alright. Only a little less than a mile back to the house. Yeah. Relax.